Hey, Tony Gaskin here, doing my best. Car Chronicles, trying to get a message out today. I brought my wife to one of her beauty appointments, so I'm in the car waiting on her. You know, I want to tell you this, and as a man, this is hard for me to say. This is hard for me to say, but you saw it in the title. Unless I have to change the title um, because of YouTube. Stop believing men. Stop believing men. It is hard to say. And I've told several of my clients, you got to be like, when you're dealing with a man, you got to be like Helen Keller. She had some amazing quotes. And I remember one of her quotes saying that you have to be able to feel it with your heart. It's not about what you see and what you hear, but you have to feel with your heart. And that's what you have to be when you're dealing with men because we are some interesting creatures. We could lie to you without blinking an eye. We can use you up, use you, abuse you, just take all kind of advantage, manipulate, deceive, be cold hearted. See, a lot of men only process their own pain. They're not thinking about the pain that they're causing. So they're just looking at their life and what they've been through. And so if they've been hurt by a woman, if they've been lied to, if they've been cheated on, if they've been overlooked, if they've been, you know, mistreated in any way, men a lot of times don't heal. Instead, men go out and get revenge on the rest of the world. And everybody else has to pay a price because of what he's suffering from. You see it in the movies. You see it in the movies, which is a fictional depiction. You ever seen a movie where the man, you know, somebody in his family, his wife or his daughter, or, you know, somebody was hurt. Even when you look at the superhero movies, the the, the Marvel movies, what do you see? You see a man who his father was taken out of his life by this people over here. And then this man went to seek revenge. It was a movie about the White House. Maybe it was London has fallen or somebody fallen. And the man who came and, you know, did the attack, he, it was because of, some of his family had been hurt. I say that to say that is what you're dealing with when you're dealing with men. Hurt individuals who don't take the time to heal and instead go around hurting other people. And it can have absolutely nothing to do with you. So it literally could be because his father left the home. It could be because his first girlfriend cheated on him and he's still angry it could be just because he was not taught growing up and he just taking all his pain out on everybody he comes in contact with and more and more and more i was talking to my wife the other day i said you know what it's a different breed of man it's a different breed of man than when i was out there and what i mean by this is it's some in the water and what I mean specifically is as the world changes, that's why I'm trying to tell y'all that you gotta, you cannot move the same way you could move in 1950. And that's why so many women got mad at me when I said, listen, stop going to the table how you used to go to the table. Don't go to the table saying, I expect you to pay for the dinner. Offer to pay your half so that he know you got you. Because this is a different type of man that you're dealing with. If he paying for you. And you didn't offer to pay your half. And he now is just deciding to pay for you out of the kindness of his heart. Guess what? He might have something else up his sleeve. But when you offer to pay your half, you disarm him. Because now he can't say, oh, she needy. Oh, she has unrealistic expectations. Oh, she thinks she owes something. Oh, now she owes me. 
He can't say that because you disarmed him. So even if he go ahead and he pay and you let him pay because you came to the table differently. That's what I'm trying to help y'all understand. Did you not dealing with the same men that your grandma was dealing with? You're not dealing with the same men that your mama was dealing with. And they were a mess. Today, I was reading an article and it was saying that we got some meth crocodiles. We got meth croc. you know, um, when people are dumping the, the, the planes and, and the, the boats that's smuggling, smuggling the drugs for the drug dealers, sometimes it get thrown into the sea and into the lakes like they got to drop it because the coast guard or whoever and i was reading something about in certain parts certain areas they have now like meth crocodiles like animals that's ingesting some of the the drugs that's seeping into the water and i was reading about that and i can't remember if this was fictional or or, or real but it made me think about that's what you're dealing with today with these men because now, because of social media, it's doing something different to the brains. Because of the access of the nasty, of the nasty movies, like you literally today can go. Like I remember having a coaching session, and this particular client was in that industry, and she was telling me about the life that she's coming out of and that she need my help to transition. And she say, this was my name. So I Google the name. Do you know in the Google images, you can see the whole situation going down. Not even, not in the Google images, but in that first, it, it, the way Google bring it all up, it had videos and it was auto plan. The whole act. I said, wow, wow. You used to have to go to a website back in the day and pay money. And I never got into it because I was in real life. So, but I knew about it, of course. Everybody knew about it because a lot of guys into that. So think about this now. This is what I want you to understand. This is what I want you to understand. Imagine when imagine when they legalize different substances that people now got to break the law to get imagine how many how that's going to change society how that's going to change some people imagine things that you used to have to sneak to do it's now ready on your fingertip i literally i had i, I was i was on twitter and this is what i'm trying to help you understand the perversion and the deviation of society. I was on Twitter and just saw Rolls Royce pass me and it was a elderly white gentleman driving in and um, people be trying to tell me they don't spend their money like that, but, but it was in that Rolls Royce, you hear me? And so here I am scrolling Twitter. I remember I came to a place to where I said, man, I'm only following 25 people. I'm acting arrogant. That, that made me look arrogant. Let me follow everybody who follow me. So I just went to my who following me and I just would click and follow, click and follow. Just following all these people, did not pay attention to who I was following. Now, when I go on there, it's, I'm noticing that I done followed back some people that got some different belief systems that do some different things. So if I scroll my timeline, which I don't really often do on, on Twitter, I may do one or two swipes of the finger. When I tell you that the nasty movies are now in two minute clips on Twitter, on the timeline. And some other people is not people I'm following, but people who I'm following have retweeted it. And some of this, some of these people are women. So that really blew me. I'm like, ugh, you nasty. You retweeting this? I'm talking about all the way stuff going on in these videos. And so what this let me know 
Do you hear me? What this let me know is we living in a new day and time. When you got that type of stuff bombarding you just everywhere, it's creating a deviant man and woman. It's creating a promiscuous society. Standards, morals, and values being thrown out the window. Being thrown out the window. Listen to what I'm telling you. So today, guess what? You got to adopt what my sister Helen Keller was born with. Now, my sister Helen Keller was born like this, blind and deaf. That's how you got to be with the men of today. If your spirit does not feel it, if you can't feel it, you can't hear nothing a man said. You cannot listen to a word he says. You got to see actions. So you're going to have to see now. But not just the actions. What I mean is you got to feel that action. Meaning that you have to test it. Make sure it's tried and true. So this means you got to take your time. This means you can't be dealing with somebody who they just doing everything right for a month. Not even just not even three months, six months. He going to have to be consistent for a year. He going to have to be consistent, a good man, somebody that you are happy with, that you could be happy with, somebody you can trust somebody you can count on, somebody that's reliable, a good man. You hear me? For a whole 12 months. And and right there at 12 months, he just getting started. It ain't the end of the race. This a marathon. He just getting started. Just getting started. I saw a lady told me, I said, I'm 100% I'm faithful to my wife. Me and my wife been married 13 years. The lady said, Tony, Let's compare notes in 10 years about the about the cheating, about the faithfulness. It's still the early years. <laughs> Child, please. The early years, the first two years. 13 years in. No, this is a habit now. Nah. I'm strong now. Nah. I done seen the test now. Nah. The only test I still will have to see is if Beyonce or Oprah tried me. Other than that. It ain't nothing. I, I done seen it all. I done seen it all. It would have to be a billionaire to try me, to throw herself at me. And she would have to throw herself at me now. And I'm not going to catch her. She's going to hit that ground hard. But I just will see it and take note of it. But listen to what I'm telling you. 13 years in, oh. I'm in my bag now. I, I done seen it. I'm ready for it. I'm looking two steps ahead now. I'm two steps ahead now. If I sense anything in my spirit that a woman got something in her spirit, she cut off. She cut off. Quit. You hear me? Listen to what I'm telling you. But guess what? 13 years of marriage. So y'all spread eagle in in every aspect, legs, wallet, mind, ears, every aspect of your life, spread eagle when a man give you a good three months. Give you a good three months, give you a good six months. A lady wrote, man, she said, Tony, dating this guy long distance for a year, everything was perfect. We was doing video calls, talking for hours. I think she said it was about a year. And then we was finally about to see each other. And he backed out. He canceled it. Guess what you was? Guess what you were? You were a side woman. And he just got a girlfriend, but she might not live with him. She might not live with him. Come on, man. Come on in. Y'all say hey to my wife. Hi. <laughs> So she might not live with him. 
But guess what? So he could sit there and talk to you on the video every day. You on the video every day. But that does not mean that that's your man. But see, when you have consistency, when you have consistency and you able to see this man do the right thing over and over and over again, now, now you can start to slowly but surely drop your guards. Because now you know, now you know that this man is thorough. So listen to me. Stop listening. And see, this is the thing. Everybody has heard the saying, actions speak louder than what, baby? Words. Actions speak louder than words. I had to throw my wife in the video. I don't want to just sitting over there feeling like I'm talking. Everybody has heard that, but who actually lives by it? Who actually is watching actions? And see, a lot of times we'll take and we want somebody to say I love you. And 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 we want somebody to say I love you. We want somebody to say sweet things because we give them credit for what they say because our ear heard it and our brain processed it and gave them credit for it. But then the action showing that I hate you. Action showing I despise you. Action showing I don't like you. But mouth saying, I love you. So you listening to what they're saying, but not paying attention to what they're doing. Hey, I want you to understand me on this. Take your time. And see, so you got to sit down and this is what you got to do. I got to get ready to go. Me and my wife got to get us something to eat now. This is what you got to do. You got to sit down and you got to have a timeline. Do you know it was certain treats and treasures that my wife withheld from me till about the fifth <laughs> or sixth year of marriage. <laughs> Do you hear me? We ain't even gonna go all the way into it. No, we're not. <laughs> we're not. <laughs> I'm gonna let you infer. But it was certain treats and treasures and treatment that she withheld from me. I feel like fourth, it had to be. It, it probably could have been the second year or third year of marriage, but in my mind, it was fifth or sixth. And I'm like, man, there's some women treating their man like this in the first month, in the first week. And that's why they losing. But my wife, she strung me out. Guess what? 13 years of marriage, I still... I'm still working. I'm still dating her. I'm still courting her. About to take out to eat right now. Took out to eat yesterday. Had us a breakfast date yesterday. I'm still working because guess what? Slowly but surely, she give me more and more. She ain't start calling me babe. She'll call me Tony. <laughs> Some of y'all in the first month. Hey, babe. Hey, hon. Baby, when it was you started calling me babe? It was a while. Uh, I felt like it was one a year at yeah, least. It was one or two years. Yeah, it was like either close to a year or a little after a year. Because, I mean, I don't, yeah, I don't use terms of endearment unless I like... Really mean it. Really mean it. Listen to what I'm telling you. You got to make a man work. You got to make a man work. That's why I'm an open book. That's why I'm spilling all the game because... My wife did me in, <laughs> wrapped me around her finger. So I'm like, I'm out the game. I'm retiring my jersey. I might as well get on YouTube and tell somebody about it. That's why I want you to understand. Stay off your back. Close your ears. Close your legs. You even got to close your eyes sometime and just feel with your heart. Feel with your heart because that's what's going to be the real barometer you're going to be able to tell when you really get everything else out the way get the ideas out the way get what you want out the way get all that out the way and really really pay attention to what your spirit is telling you and are you equally yo is this person your mate for real or are you just falling in love with the idea of love because you're desperate and frustrated hey this is tony gaskin god bless you make sure you check the links in the description visit my mentor life 
and book a session with your new coach today. I'm on there too. Um, somebody actually booked a session with me the other day. God bless you. We had a great session. I'm Tony Gaskins. This this the queen, Cherie Gaskins. Y'all also make sure that you go pre-order our new book. It's called A Woman's Influence. We're going to unbox it here soon one day. It's called A Woman's Influence. My wife, after every chapter where I wrote and kind of spilled the beans, she shared her perspective after each chapter and some key takeaways. So you get a little taste from her, and I'm still trying to convince her and talk her into a full book. But I'll tell you what happened. When I met her and I wrote my full book, she read that book every syllable and used it on me, wrapped me around her finger. So I'm thinking that's why she don't want to write her full book <laughs> because then I know everything she do and how she do it. And she probably thinking I might try to counteract it, but I'm still trying to get her to write the full book. But on this one, we partner. So make sure you pre-order it anywhere you buy books from barnesandnoble.com, amazon.com, wherever. And it authorizes your card, but it doesn't charge your card. It'll fall off in a couple of days. It's going to charge your card a day before it releases. So don't think that you already paid for it. Go back and check your statement if you already pre-ordered. You'll realize you didn't pay for it. So make sure you have your card ready April 6th, the day before it come out. Hey, this is Tony Gaskin. We'll talk soon. God bless you.